kumusta kumusta mga kapork chap mga kapork chap dyan so ngayon guys uh, magpa relax muna tayo mapunta tayo ngayon sa surfers paradise river cross so experience natin yung river cross sa, ano, sa gold coast kung ano yung mayroon dun sabi may libre daw inumin at saka pagkain walang pagkain ah wala bang pagkain oh, wala palang no. pagkain so, magugutong pala kami <laughs> So, nagkain ng tayo sa labas sa mga ibang restaurant tapos yun lang uh, um, kung ano yung inumin la doon yung cocktail ba or mocktail or ano bang inumin uh, tuba ba <laughs> So, yan papunta natin So, samahan nyo kaming mamasyal ngayong araw na to mga kapork chop yeah! So guys, pagkita ko sa inyo yung ano uh, Sir Leo Bridge Alam ko Sir Leo yung bridge na to Nang Brisbane eh Ito yung tallest bridge ng Nang Brisbane So ito yung isa sa nagdugtong Nang south side at saka north side Nang Brisbane So may toll to na bridge Tapos papakita ko sa inyo Ito yung ano Yung uh, highway dito sa Sa uh, Gold Coast Yan yung Orleans ya guys So ayan nakikita nyo Orleans ya Ayan sobrang ganda ng view guys Tingnan nyo guys Ito yung surfer's paradise Sa pinaka center ng gold coast Ayan guys kita nyo So Diretso lang tayo guys Diretso lang tayo Baka purchap so, Marami pa namang kamera dito Baka ma speed Ano tayo Wow Tingnan mo Ayan o oh, ganda Lower na lower oh. ganda. Welcome to Surfers Paradise Yay Ito yung mga pinuntahan Ng mga turista guys Surfers Paradise Tingnan nyo naman yung beauty guys oh. Tingnan nyo naman Ayan nyo yung ganda ng paligid yan dito sa kabila din oh sila ito sa kabila yan so nandito na kami sa surfers paradise guys hahanapin ngayon hahanapin namin ngayon yung kabil street so we can have some Sauce, uh, garlic, garlic mayo, yeah, garlic mayo. They have, gar okay. yep, garlic aioli, yep. Yeah, it's all good. Yep, nice. Awesome. Thank you. So, nandito kami sa subway, guys. Kung kailan lang kami ng uh, food. namin yung check-in ticket guys sa, ano, sa River Cross mag-aantay pa kami ng 10 minutes pero ang service namin ito muna ang kukuha sa amin no? yan <laughs> I wish yan yung service namin yan no? ang haba ang haba ng service namin ganda o oh. so ganyan tayo guys sa sakay yan yun yung yun yung yan yung sasakyan natin so dyan tayo sa taas yun yung sasakyan natin di ba ganda pwede kaya tayo sa taas dyan so sasakyan tayo sa taas pila na tayo para ano yeah. yung kapasok na kami guys sa taas Tapos nandito tayo sa magandang pisto guys Serting serti oo oh, oh. Akin yung pinagpunas mo Tsaka yung pinagkainan mo Ito na tinapon nyo na 
So, ayan, nakapisto na tayo guys sa River Coast. Ayan na nyo. Two champagne, I get two champagne guys. Champagne drinks. You know mana? Come on. Champagne, yeah.
It's very popular for a lot of weddings. They do say it takes 80 people. Although I think you'd probably want to be fairly close friends. The island was surrounded by the Narang River. It was originally called Goats Island due to the proximity to salt water, which led to dry grass growing on the island and non productive farming and fires. Goats were put on the island to keep the grass down and eliminate these problems. In 1957, the Gold Coast City Council started dredging the island. And by 1961, it was a complete island known as Chevron Island. It's a small exclusive island, not officially a suburb of the Gold Coast in its own right. And you will find houses dating back to the 1960s. Two examples are over on the right hand side here. Developers buy these properties up, knock them down. But the own land to sell for over $1 million is here on Cronin Island. House prices generally start from around $3 million and go upwards of $12 million on the eastern side. Lovely little fishing boat on the right hand side there folks, have a look at that one. Mm. Yeah, that's my sort of fishing boat, my <laughs> dreams. The boat's called Why Not, my dreams it's called I Wish. Great <laughs> right, little doggy park on the left hand side too, you can run your dogs off the leash over there, super comfortable with the locals and doggies. Don't recommend throwing the stick in the water at all, it's on the book chart speed and they love dogs. And the way we love dogs in our book, for the doggies. We're looking here to the right too, you can see this beautiful big house, this is my favourite house on the island. It's got glass walls, you can actually see straight through the house now the other side. It's all well and good unless you're getting changed. Um, it's got designer holes cut at the roof for the trees to grow through too. Very similar to my house that one, post COVID. Since then I've fixed the holes in the roof but... <laughs> We've got the um, little tennis court there too, two million dollar tennis court for people who really love playing tennis. Very good tennis players they are too. They live in the house too, which is quite unusual for out here. Most of the homes you see today are empty. Holiday homes, investment properties, house banks. I see the occasional caretaker on the bottom. Nothing else. Looking at the house next door to Mr. Hose, take careful note of the roof, which looks to be a tiled roof. However, it is in actual fact a copper shingled roof, along with all the drains and downpipes, which are also made of copper. If you're not quite sure what that means, look up the price of copper next time you're on a computer. The beige house on our right with paradise skyline. Inspired house next door to this is owned by Bill Barry Cotter. Mr. Cotter started Riviera boats and now owns Maritimo boats. And next door to that one, the Victorian style home. The gentleman purchased the land here for 10 million, spent approximately 20 million building the house before he ran out of money. The bank then sold it for approximately 9.8 million dollars. The three-storey cottage inspired home next door is owned by Tony Coughlin. For those of you V8 supercar enthusiasts, mm. he's the gentleman who runs the V8 supercar series here on the Gold Coast. Mm. And 
and the two houses on the end are owned by a gastroenterologist and a cardiothoracologist. kita natin na sobrang gandang yati guys ay nagka-travel to sa iba't ibang sulok ng uh, mundo kasi tumutulong to sa mga disaster sa ibang sulok ng mundo uh, yan ay ang floating hospital guys ang yati na yan ay mayroong mga facilities ng pang hospital na mga high tech at saka funded ito ng Australian government tapos yung yate na, te, yate na to sobrang bilis tumatakbo din at saka may uh, capability siya na kahit uh, masama yung panahon pwede pa rin siyang tuma, tumakbo tapos sobrang mahal din ng yate na yan at saka ang laki ng, ano, ng maintenance ayun sa uh, boat captain na sinasakyan namin ngayon napansin nyo naman na mayroong nakapilang mga jet ski guys yan yung mga jet ski na yan ay for hire 
So dito yan malapit sa Southport magkatabi yan sa Chopper Hire yung magkatabi sila ng uh, uh, five star hotel ayun naman sa ating boat captain guys sabi niya sa amin itong mga yati na to na nakaparada ay galing pa to sa iba't ibang sulok ng mundo Naglalawig lang, nagtutor sila sa buong mundo, tapos dyan sila paparada. Yung space na pinaparadahan nila, may renta yan per day. Tapos nakalimutan ko lang yung pagkasabi niya kung magkano. Yan yung mayroon dyan karamihan sa Middle East, Qatar, uh, UAA, Oman, mga yung mga mayaman na, ano, na, na mga Arab country diyan nag ano sila nag uh, nag sailing sila tapos yan yung pinaka parking nila dito sa ano sa bandang Gold Coast so yan yun guys ito namang nakikita natin guys na kulay beige na building kung saan uh, sa dulo ng mga yate yan yung isa sa mga luxury hotel ng Gold Coast at saka kilala sa buong mundo yung brand na to hindi lang sa hotel kundi pati sa mga damit signature na clothing yan yung Versace Hotel So kung alam niyo yung Versace na clothing, yan yung hotel nila sa Gold Coast Australia. So sa awa ng Diyos nakabisita ako diyan pero nagkakape lang kami nung birthday ng best friend ko si Jan. Kaya yun yung Versace Hotel. Nakikita naman natin na chopper guys Pwede kayong pumunta dyan Tapos uh, mag, mag Sky view kayo sa Overlooking ng buong Gold Coast At saka Surfer's Paradise Yan yung sasakyan nyo Tapos mm, I'm not sure kung magkano yung Bayad pero yun maram Maraming turista na pumupunta dyan Sa lugar na yan sa Southport Yan ng Surfer's Paradise Kung saan Uh, malapit yan sa Versace Hotel din so pwedeng uh, pumunta ka dyan mag magbayad ka, magrinta ng, ano, ng chopper para lang makita yung view ng buong Gold Coast ito naman guys, ang bahay na pinapangarap ko na sana one day magkaroon ako ng ganyan manalo ako ng luto grabe ang ganda ng bahay oh. so sana <laughs>
natapos na yung uh, river cross namin guys kaso lang nalasing ako sa champagne kasi yung champagne niya hindi niya ininom ako yung pinainom oy oy ano ba yan parang <laughs> Ay, nalasing ako guys dalawang set yung ano hindi ako ano eh uh, moderate drinker ano lang ako eh mga occasional drinker na ako actually hindi talaga ako uminom guys kasi parang allergic ako ng drinks namumula ako tsaka hindi ako makakahinga pero dahil may libre yung champagne pinirit ko na nga kaya medyo nalasing ako <laughs> 